What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Horsepower Cartel. Unfortunately, with the whole social distancing going on, I won't be able to get out and, you know, shoot the content for you guys, like I said. So in the last vlog, I mentioned that I'm gonna be reviewing my subscribers' cars. I've asked people to send me their pictures of their cars and the mod list. So here we go. Hope you guys enjoy it. Maybe if you guys are interested, we can do some more of these. And maybe I'll start reviewing cars from my car club, Throttle 97 or something like that, you know? So let's see what we have. All right, so here we go. The first car we have is by a guy named Shreyansh. He has 2007 Honda Civic 1.8 IV Tech. He's from Chhattisgarh. Oh, nice to know we have some uh, cartel members there. He's got an automatic performance exhaust not bad automax a reputable brand does custom exhaust iridium spark plugs not bad okay canon oem air intake now i like the fact that he's went with the drop in intake system compared to like uh cold air or something because in the climate that we live in i wouldn't recommend cold air intakes because you know you sit in traffic it tends to heat soak your car and you, you already have a natural gas for your car you know if it heat soaks it's not really making that much power aftermarket led headlights hks body kit with the uh, side skirts and front lip i didn't even know hks told me body kits yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's all blacked out. I like the whole black look you got going on. I'm not a fan of the spoiler. I like the wheels. We got some Momo wheels wrapped in some nice Yokohama tires. LED aftermarket tail lights. Custom wheel spoiler, man. I don't know. And he's planning to do a stage two remap. And he's saying that he had planned to do a turbocharger. Okay. I spoke to him in a live session. <laughs> He said it's not a good idea. Honestly, just leave the car where it is. I mean, there's no point of making your car unreliable, turbocharging, have a car that's in the shop longer than it's on the road. So I, I recommend just, just keeping it stock, keeping it bolt-ons. So that's the first car, let's move on. So coming up next, we got Palov, Palov. He's from Gujarat, I guess Ahmedabad, based on the number plate. He has a Borla Spitfire and can non-resonated custom DCAT exhaust system. OEM GTI grill, stage one remap from Revo, Forge Motorsport Blotha, BMC replacement air filter, ECDS tweak. So he's done a bit of coding, I guess. Chrome delete, smoke tail lights, custom splitter, side skirts. I like it. It's it's nice and it's nice and stock looking, you know, very OEM plus. I like it. Nice and subtle, nothing over the top. Honestly, it looks like a good, really nice, fun daily driver. It's quick and it'll blend in into the crowd if it needs to. And if it needs to move out, it moves out with the stage one. So nice car, I love. All right, so coming up next, we have Remen. He has a really dope looking Volkswagen Jetta. I don't know what year it is. From what I can see, he has some dope wheels on it. OZ Racing, my favorite. Okay, this uh, Sport Turismo GT wheels, I love them. Uh, he's done a custom paint job on the wheels. He's got some nice Michelin PS4S tires, or PS4 tires. D2 racing coilovers, 36 way dampening and adjustable, not bad. Big brake kit, nice. Some yellow stuff pads. He's got a stage one remat, Forge Motorsports uh, diverter valve, lap 47 decatted downpipe. He's got a deresonated mid pipe, Borla Pro and can with dual tips, not bad. It's a really nice looking car. Yeah, I'm really surprised. And of course he's in Kerala, so that's how he's able to drive all low and stuff. Damn, you guys in Kerala really know how to mod your cars, man. This is definitely a nice looking car. Nothing over the top, nice and subtle again. Definitely, definitely would rock this. It's a definitely a cool looking car. So nice car, man. All right, up next, we got a car from Harshit. Shivraj. I don't know where he's from. He hasn't mentioned it, but he has a 2006 Suzuki Baleno, Maruti Suzuki Baleno. Four two to one custom headers with stainless steel and can. Not bad. Custom short ratio gears, lowering springs, NGK iridium spark plugs, Canon filter, some nice deep dish wheels and some hella fog lamps. Shivraj, I must say, decently modded car. I like the wheels, love the fitment, it looks really nice. And I honestly love the design of Belenos. It really screams early 2000s, late 90s to me. And I love those that era of cars. Yeah, it looks really cool. I like the black housing headlights. I don't know if that's OEM or not, but cool looking car. And, and these 1.6 engines sounds pretty cool with the custom exhaust. So cool looking car, buddy. All right, so next up we got Harsh Furtado. Nice name. He's from Mumbai. He has a 2014 Volkswagen Jetta, two liter TDI, APR stage one, not bad. Muffler delete, chrome exhaust test from Automac, another Automac customer. Pipe across, stock replacement intake filter, not bad. Some nice 17 inch wheels on some PS4 rubbers, EBC yellow stuff, brake pads, lowering springs, 
Not bad. He has some nice future mods planned as well. Uh, looks wise, the car looks pretty cool, man. I uh, love the wheels. It looks, uh, makes the car look a little stealthy. I think you should definitely leave the tints on there. I think you took it off. But uh, yeah, it looks cool with the tints. Nice looking car. Definitely will keep an eye out in Mumbai. If I see it, I'll definitely say hi, Harsh. Thanks for sending in your submission. Samip Basin. I guess he's from uh, Maharashtra based on the number, please. Oh, he's from Nagpur. Okay, cool. So this has to be my, one of my favorite cars so far. It's a stage three. We RS uh, Mark 1. It's got KO3S hybrid turbo upgrade. Uh, it's got a built bottom end, I guess. Not bad. RE coils. Pretty good model list. Looks wise, I like the OEM look. The stock wheels, obviously timeless. The um, body of this car, timeless. I like the fact that, you, you know, it's a clean car, no dents and everything. And, you know, no scratches or anything in the paint from what I can see. I see you have added some DRLs in the bumpers, on the front bumper. Not my cup of tea, but hey, if it floats your boat, whatever. Nice looking car though. Stage three, loving it. Um, and his plans are to make it about 500 horsepower. So let's see how that goes. Definitely let me know. If you're in Mumbai, we'll definitely love to cover this car. Next car is from my buddy Red. And this car actually used to belong to my friend Piran. We actually did a video on this on the value for money you know, best cars on the 10 lakhs. I'll put the link in the description. This car, I guess Red checked it out on the vlog and he really fell in love with it. Fortunately, my friend was nice enough to sell it to him. Stays two VRS. I'm not even gonna really talk about this car. It's a beautiful looking car, runs really strong, healthy, nicely done up. The mods are pretty good. Go check out the video. I'm not even gonna talk about this car. Sorry, Red. Now we're bringing out the big guns. We got my buddy Mrugan's E36 369. Uh, Mrugan, if you guys don't know him, he owns Sushila Auto Techniques. Their workshop, you know, works on cars and you know, servicing, body kits, anything you need, you can hit him up. And Rugen actually is the owner and his, this is his personal car. He also has a E34 5 Series, which is converted to an M5. We definitely gotta check that out. But for now, check this out. This is his new car, his new project. It's an E36. He has a 1JZ swap, okay? He has upgraded turbo. I'm gonna leave the mod list on the side or wherever. You can check it out, but this car looks dope. Looks like it's ready to go drifting. It's got a roll cage, the big wing on the back, as you can see, big single turbo. Looks good, man. I'm definitely, after this lockdown, definitely coming by and checking this out. I'll definitely, this is worth the trip to Vera, bro. I love the paint job. Looks very OEM, the wheels, on point. Make sure you guys check him out and check out Sushila Auto Technique as well. Uh, next, we got my buddy Mubasha. We've, we've shown the CLA on the vlog a few times. I don't know if you guys noticed, but it's not a CLA 45. It's actually a CLA 200. He's done a wide body kit on it, very design. He's done a stage two, it's got downpipe exhaust. 19 inch Rana wheels. It's lowered on some Eibach lowering springs. You guys can check out the mods, but looks wise, this car is sick, man. He spent a lot of time and energy. You can tell, I mean, this is a proper build. This is not like one of those cars you see, you know? He's got the CF hood, you name it. Like this is fully done up. I think this is like the, probably one of the best looking, if not the best looking CLA 200 in the country. Next up, we got an international subscriber. Our Rash Kosh. I don't know if I'm saying your name right. Sorry for butchering it. He's actually from Holland, I guess, based on the number plate. He has an E550 AMG package. It's got a stage one tune on it, so that gains 40 horsepower, I guess. And he also has an RX8, 2004 RX8. He's got a Canon and drop-in filter, Canon and oil filter, HKS full exhaust, aftermarket wheels, coilovers. Beautiful car. I, I like the RX8. Believe it or not, RX8 was the first car I learned how to drift. My buddy had one. Let me, uh, you know, drive it around for a couple of months. Uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. This is back in like 2007 or 2008 when the RX-8s were really hot. So it was a definitely a cool car to learn how to drift in. And it's an amazing, fun car. Mazda with the rotary engines, the sounds it makes. Too good. And the E550 looks cool, man. Nice nice and stock. Uh, there's not much we really need to do to it because it already has the AMG package. I hope you have the model with the twin turbo V8, but I doubt it because it's not the facelift. So he probably has the normal V8 naturally aspirated, which is not bad. But uh, yeah, man, cool cars. We're in Holland, I'll hit you up. <laughs> Next car on the list is my buddy Sahil's car. You might've seen him in the Speed Fest vlogs or in the Throttle 97 vlogs. He's a local guy, very close friend of mine. and his BMW is probably the sickest M3, looks wise at least, in India. Um, one of the sickest. Shout out to my buddy Sean who has the other sickest one. Anyways, uh, yeah, he has a lot of stuff done, man. I'm just gonna put his mod list on the side. All I gotta say is this car is fast as hell. It handles amazing. With the right driver behind it, it's 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 quick. I mean, Sahil, this guy's a race car driver. He knows how to drive his car. On the track, he did a phenomenal time of 2.14 or 2.13. I'm not sure. I might be wrong on that. Yeah, man, amazing car. I love the two-face wrap he got going. 
going on. Something definitely different. You don't see this in India. Yeah, man. Cool car, Sahil. Thanks for sending in your uh, submission. And but matter of fact, those wheels that you see on the car are 19s in the front and 20s in the back. And they're lighter than the stock wheels. So that's why you got it. They're OEM wheels. I don't even know where to start with this model. List, so I'm just going to leave it there. You guys can check it out. And yeah, let me know what you guys think below about his M3. Sick car, ain't it? Hope you guys enjoyed that little review of subscribers and uh, cartel members thanks for sending in your submissions i'm gonna try to do this more often if you guys like it uh comment below let me know what you guys think about the video also let me know what was your favorite car or what you guys think about the cars that i spoke about but yeah let me know if you guys have any other ideas you guys want me to do talk about cars talk about whatever let me know comment below stay safe stay away from people stay alive we'll, we'll all get over you know this stupid pandemic that we have to go through and with the whole social distancing and not being able to see our friends and family and, and not being able to get out and drive our cars man i can't wait to just get out and drive i think i'm talking too much now before i get in trouble thanks for watching um subscribe like and share with all your friends and family please let me know what you guys want me to do in the future with this channel until this lockdown see you guys soon